What's going on guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to County Line. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. And oh man, let's take a look at what we got going on here. Don't you hate when you lose your bail forks? <laughs> I lost my bail forks. I don't know where I put them. I've been looking all over the place for them. Um, woke up this morning. Can't buy my bail forks. We're using the pallet forks instead. <laughs> we'll do the job. Oh man, I've lost my bail forks. Oh well. Um, we're making some TMR, guys. We're making some TMR for our cattle. Um, came back to the farm after we finished that massive uh, cultivation we did for uh, Billy Bob. That big old field we had out in front there that hadn't been taken care of at all lately. Decided to go over there and give him a hand with that. Um, yeah, that contract, it was good because we got some use out of our new tractor. Got some, finally got some, a little bit of work out of it. But um, we kind of neglected our cattle. Well, a little bit. Not bad. It's not, not a huge deal. It's just that I haven't been keeping an eye on them, and um, things are happening. Things are definitely happening. So uh, let me uh, let's get some more TMR built here. Um, keep on working away on this for a little bit. We'll get this all set up and ready to go, and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, cool. All right, let's do this, guys. Bitter batter. Clutch simulations. And as you can see, I am still making a mess with the TMR over here. Trying to get this ratio right. Let's see if I can just barely get this. I've already messed this completely up. I don't want to do too much in here. Just a little bit. There we go. Good enough. Um, I messed it up already. I took too much silage instead of uh, straw. I've had to dump some over here just to get it out of the way. Oh, it's such a pain. It's such a pain to have the wrong size bin for what you're used to. So if you put more than... They can't take a full bale of straw is the, the key on this one. You gotta put the bale and the straw in last, otherwise it messes your whole ratio up. And, um, where is it? There we go. And it doesn't work. And then I lose my, uh, I get, <laughs> I do not get TMR, I just get forage. And I don't want forage, I want, definitely want to get TMR going here. So let's try and do this right this time. Let's try and do this right. So, we'll slowly get rid of all that stuff uh, that's over beside the silage pit, I'm sure. But uh, I'm running a little low, actually, on the straw over on this side. A little bit. Not bad. We've got enough to get us through probably the summer here. It really depends on how much we want to use the uh, the manure. You can see I've got a pretty good heap of manure. Actually, it's not even this side. It's the other cow pen beside us there. That's where we got all our manure from. This pen over here, we've used up most of it. But that being said, I did just fill that trailer up. It's ready to go for our orchard should we need it. Um, I think we've got about 50% left still in most of our trees. So we should be good for a while. Let's go. Come on. Get up there. We'll dump this in. Get some more hay in here to start. You know what? This should be more than enough TMR, I hope, for these uh, the Holsteins. Let's go jump in here. Drive this over. I'm going to take the uh, silage first. And if I watch this, I should be able to see. <laughs> as long as I get around uh, like 8,500 liters total in here before I go and start putting the straw in, I should be all right. So just watching the bottom right there. As soon as I get up to 8,500, actually, you know what, there, that's good, there, whoa, sorry, 6,500 is what I was thinking, not 85, but that should be all right, yeah, no, no, no that's all right, 8,500 is right, never mind, disregard, it's a 12,000 liter, that's what I'm looking for, so 8,500, and now whatever straw I put in here is just filler, and that's all good, go, grab this stuff here, it's amazing how well it picks up straw and grass off of the ground, that always amazes me, let's grab some of this stuff over here as well. I hope this is not hay. Is it straw? Yeah, it's straw. We should be able to top this right up with this. Looks good to me, guys. All right, there we go. 11,997, 99%. Let's go dump this into this Holstein barn in here. Let's go in here. Let's dump this out. Perfect. All right, dumpy dump. Oh, you can't quite see it. Yeah, perfect. Is that it? It only took... <laughs> How perfect was that? It was like 100 liters that came out. Not even. There's 100 liters. That's it. We got a full a truck full of TMR. Um, it's ready to rock and roll for next time. We can leave this right here for now. Better close this gate. Make sure our cows don't get out. So the Holsteins are doing really good. Um, yeah, they're fine. We don't need to worry about them. I do have quite a bit of milk, actually, we need to worry about, though. Over here. Now, this is the problem I'm running into right now. Oh, we should probably give them some water while we're here. Might as well top off that. Uh, why does that open? Did it open? Did it open? It didn't open. Why didn't it open? Must be full. Huh. Did I open it already today? I might have. Anyways, 
regardless. Um, the limousines, guys. So we buy them for twenty three hundred bucks. Now you can see here we're at thirty eight nine seven. Now I've seen these over four thousand dollars. The price is starting to drop on these guys. Um, our new ones, our new yearlings, they're at twenty eight hundred bucks. So they're still worth more than the uh, the base price. They've gone up in value. But these ones here are starting to drop. So I've seen them over four. We're probably lost maybe two to three hundred bucks per cow right now. That's unfortunate. Um, if I look at our seasons menu to find out what our our historic prices are, where do we go down here, limousines. Now we're at a low. I'm tempted to wait till tomorrow to see if it bumps back up. Oh man, that's a bit of a risk. Now tomorrow is a decent day, so maybe we'll wait for that to happen. I think that's what we're going to do for tomorrow. We've got a trailer we've already bought. We're ready to go with that start moving these but we may wait for that till tomorrow but the price has dropped on these guys i'm a little bit concerned guys that the uh the age of the cow now is becoming a factor i don't know what the age for most cows going to slaughter is what is it they're out two years almost be like two years probably next month so that might be a concern we need to consider uh, i don't know what to do yet so i think i'm gonna wait till tomorrow i was thinking we'll sell them today i think we'll wait till tomorrow what I don't want to wait for until tomorrow, guys, is the milk. Yes, let's sell some milk. Uh, the milk prices don't really fluctuate right now, at least. I'm not sure what's going to happen when I start selling it. But for right now, the prices stay fairly stagnant. So uh, we've got actually enough to sell or to fill this tanker. That's how fast it took. It took, a, well, a year and a half, essentially, of raising cattle um, in order to get to the point now where we can sell some milk. Um, I could have done this earlier, of course, but... This seems like a pretty good time. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, you know what? We can pull through here. Let's pull right on in. Now, the milk on this barn, I believe, is this door right here. Milk loading. Open the door first. No bale loading. Done. All right. Open that up. That's going to open up. Does this thing slide out? Oh, it does too. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. All right. Let's uh, pull up beside this and hopefully, just simply, we should be able to load. There we go. 58,000 liters of milk. Boom. Then she goes. Awesome, guys. So we're getting 58,000 liters out of our cattle. Looks good so far. Pretty good. So um, we've got, I believe, we're up to about 15 extra cattle in here. So we're, what, 40 in total now? Something along those lines of the Holsteins. We're producing a decent amount of milk. I think half, over half of them now are uh, producing milk for us. So that should go pretty good. And, well, the manure. I'm not even giving them straw anymore because I've got this big pile of manure. I'm not wasting the straw for that. I am just letting the straw build up, or the manure, and turn into slurry, I should say. So there's no there's no straw in the barn. It's going straight to slurry now instead of manure. That's something else I do want to take care of. I don't have a slurry trailer yet. So that's something we're going to need to look at at some point. Maybe to turn that into uh, digestate. There we go. We're done. Cool. All right, guys. Well, let's head this out. Let's see what we get for the milk on County Line. This is the first milk shipment. So we're trucking FS19 style. Nice. Um, this is one of my favorite parts of this map is actually just trucking around it. Because you do have to go quite a ways, typically, to get to your destinations. Let's rock and roll. Um, so the only place we sell milk is oh, the Borgdens or something along those lines. It's down in Burksville. We gotta head to Burksville, so it's a bit of a trek. This is not Burksville right ahead of us. Uh, Burksville is off to the west, so I'm just gonna go up into town here. It'll be a quick little drive up to town, and then we're heading straight west, probably I don't know, 10 miles, I guess, something along those lines to Burksville, and uh, that's where we're gonna be selling our, our all our milk. Uh, I'm seeing what kind of money we're gonna get. Oh, you know what? I thought this was a 60,000 liter tank on this thing. It's only 32,000 liters. Oh my! Oh man, this is great, guys. We're gonna get tons of money out of this, I think. Well, it's not going to make, let's be honest, it was still 60,000 liters. I just thought it was going to be, I thought this was a 60,000 liter tank. Oh, darn it. That's got two trips, that's all. It's still the same amount of money, it's just two trips. Uh, yeah, math is tough. Um, anyways, let's uh, keep on heading down. Like I said, it's a bit of a trek down to Burksville this way. I'll see you guys in a sec. Just pulling into Burksville here. Now, the dairy is on the far west side of town, so we're going to cut right on through town here. Uh, through the traffic lights and right on past. Take a quick look. Do a little town in here. Been through here a couple times. I don't think I've been the west end to the dairy before. I think it'll be the first time we've gone to the dairy here. Let's take a quick look. Pulling up the lights here. Make sure no traffic's coming. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm in the wrong lane. I'm in the wrong lane. 
All right, that was close. All right, so the dairy should be just... There it is. There it is, right up on our left-hand side, right at the end of the road here. I haven't been down this way before, so this is the first time we've gone to the dairy. We'll take a look and see what we got. Let's see how the loading is area here. I'm not quite sure what to expect. I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of a building we pull into here, I think, typically. Uh, is it just on our left here? That might be it. It's tough to say. You know what? Let's pull in and we'll take a look around. I don't know if that's it or not. I don't think it's on the back side of that building. We'll just go through a drive in here and see what this does. If there's a spot in here, looks like this should be it. Milk loading. I don't want to load. I want to unload. <laughs> I don't want oh, okay. Never mind. That doesn't make sense, but you know what? We'll unload in the loading area. Let's see what we get. Not bad. 78 grand. Oh, yeah. Yes, I don't mind that at all, guys. That's not bad. We're going to make 150 grand off this. 150 grand? Once we go back, we'll sell us another load off here. Um, it's a bit of a trek. Like I said, it took us a couple minutes to get up here. It's not like it's just into town. We've got to go across the map to the other town. Um, but 150 grand for those two shipments we're going to be doing. Uh, well, that's the first one. We'll do another one right away. Man, that's awesome. All right, that's great. So, decent amount of milk. Like I said, it took us a year and a half to get to this point, but I think it's going to produce quite quickly now. Considering, yeah, guys, this has only been what well, we had the first uh, the first cows at the start of the year, so uh, it shouldn't take us well that's six months really, a half a year for this amount of milk. That's not bad, guys. Oh man, we might push this harder. I think we may start pushing this. This is a good amount of change. Holy, one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's uh, let's head back. I'm gonna go sell off another shipment. Loader back up and ship it back out. Let's do this. Number two coming in. Now guys, there's something else interesting that I noticed on the way up here. And uh, you know what? Well, you can see it in the background right now, but we'll talk about that in a second. Let's drop this off. Perfect. There we go. Now, I'm looking at these fields. Everything is ready to harvest on county line right now. And we're only mid-summer. Everything is ready to harvest almost. I haven't checked all of my crops yet. There's definitely one that is. Um, everything's coming up early. I don't know what's going on. It's scaring me a little bit. Because uh, I'm not ready to harvest yet. I don't have anything. I was going to buy a new harvester and I don't have the money for it yet. Oh man. Guys, I'm a little scared here. So we need to get on this. It's 65 grand. Not bad. We're just shy of 150,000. It was 170, or 78 and 65. So that ain't bad, guys. That's 145 thou. Yeah, that ain't bad at all. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh yeah. Um, we'll head back now. I just looking at all these crops. Everything's yellow. Everything is yellow. Everything's ready to harvest. I, it's the middle of summer. We shouldn't have anything ready to harvest until tomorrow, essentially. Um, it's still summertime. <laughs> um, we may have to look at this right away, guys. Let's get back to the farm, and uh, we're going to start doing some analysis-izing. An analysis you know what I'm talking about, right? Let's do this. Holy cow. Um... Everything looks like it's ready to harvest. The canola field, I believe this is our oat right here. This is ready to go. Oh, we got sun, is it sunflowers? Is that what we planted over there? There's a canola. I can't remember what we planted over here. Let's go take a look. Um, it's the only thing that's not ready to, it's sunflowers. Right? Yeah. So sunflowers, oh man, but they're close, guys. Look at these sunflowers. Oh, they look so good. Um, that's the only thing that's not ready to harvest yet. So we don't. we only have the three fields right now. Hoping I'm not gonna be able to upgrade this year. It's it. There's not. There's no way. That being said, the amount of money we're making from horses now, from our orchard, and from milk, guys, it's next year. It's definitely gonna happen. We're gonna be booming on county line. Um, the economy is gonna be kicking into high gear for us. Look at that. Look at the oat. 
Holy shnikes. That's a lot of oat. Um, I still need hay and grass, and I don't have enough of that yet. This field that we've been using to pick up all, all our grass still hasn't come into, a, into, into effect yet. I can't cut that. But maybe that's a good sign. That's all right. We only need to do that once. Hopefully that should be enough grass, I think, to get us through the year. But we do need to get this oat off. And the... Uh, what is that over there? Is it... Man, soybean? Is that what we planted on the big field? I don't remember. I think it's soybean I planted up there. Anyways, we're looking pretty good, guys. I'm, I'm kind of amazed, to be perfectly honest. At middle of summer, we can start looking at harvesting. Um, you know what? We may have to lease some equipment. I'm not a fan of doing that, but I need to. I need something bigger than what we got. We may sell off the old iron and start looking at leasing harvesters for this year, and maybe next year we can talk about uh, about what we're going to do with that. But this year, I can't afford it. Well, folks, it looks like we've got some decisions to make. I've got all our John Deere equipment lined up. Well, most of it, all the big stuff at least. Um, guys, really happy so far with our 8970 up here uh this thing's pretty cool pretty cool tractor uh the new cultivator that's going to do us good as well a nice fairly wide cultivator what size is that size of the 2410 um anyways that's a decent cultivator for us i'm pretty happy with it for the most part and yeah this tractor is was cheap in the grand scheme of things i think we're a hundred thousand bucks for this one something along those like 150 i think we were in the whole 100 grand uh we've almost paid that out i think i put another 50 into that earlier so we're looking really good with that now the 8930 guys we're keeping this as well there's no way we're gonna get rid of this tractor right now this is our big horsepower tractor i think it's around 600 to be honest we've got this thing chipped and uh it is our big horsepower tractor so this is going to do us for quite some time and it's dirty i need to clean it that was my plan we'll do that in a second um as far as cedars well we've got both the planter and the cedar the db90 and whatever this one is i can never remember what this one is real planter but uh they're both good i'd like to get a couple more of these to be perfectly honest we need two of these for some of the big fields on this on this uh, in the county line area to grow our crop or grow our fields, I should say, like to get well this crop if we ever wanted to purchase this field over here. Yeah, guys, we need some more planters and cedars. Um, just one is not enough for us. That's for sure. It takes so long. So I'm happy with how we're doing with all that stuff. But harvesters, ah oh, man, harvesters, guys, we're running, we're 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 out of room with our harvesters. Um, the 9600, it's been a great harvester, don't get me wrong, but it's a little low on the horsepower, small grain bin, um, we're maxed out on header size here with this 925, in fact, it's probably too big for it, and even worse off, the 8820 over here, way too small of a grain bin size, I think this is only hold like 65, 7,000 liters up top there, um, it fills up so fast, and the 60, or the 925 header that we've got on this one is way too big for this thing. There's just no horsepower in this thing, guys. There's no power left in it, and uh, it does take its toll, and it's a lot of work to get through a field with these harvesters. So these got to go. we got to move these. Um, I mean, these have been on the farm for years. It's time to upgrade. I've got a line on a couple options here. We've, look, we've been looking. We've been looking hard. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but let me get these into the shop. We'll do a bit of work on these, get these all fixed up right. Maybe I can sell these off. Um, and hopefully buy something that's uh, going to suit us a bit better on county line because guys these old these old harvesters they aren't going to do it anymore it's time to upgrade now i may keep the header i may keep the headers on these that i don't know yet in fact i think i'm going to have to just for the price the, the price alone on the headers um, they're just so expensive to try and repurchase a new header i think we're going to keep these headers in stock you know, on the farm and uh, we'll go from there but the harvesters themselves i'm going to repair and we're going to ship these bad boys out get some new something upgraded as much as i do like them they're just too small guys they're way too small that's time for us to uh to get serious here if we want to if we want to work with the big boys on the county line we need to get some big harvesters all right we're loaded for bear we've got both harvesters on this trailer uh, guys, if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, I actually posted a picture of someone nearby who did something actually worse than this. He had three harvesters on a trailer that I think was smaller than this thing here. Um, but it works. <laughs> uh, let's get going. Let's get these things to the shop, sell them off, and uh, we'll start worrying about harvest right away here. Man, I can't believe it's harvest season already again. 
Wow. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope, as always, you enjoyed the episode. Hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to drop a like, of course. And, of course, if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe now to be uh, kept up with County Line. We're having a lot of fun here, guys. Anyways, hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. This is Glutch. Over and out. Thank you.